Consider the statement, a bowling ball is round. Most people would agree that this is a true statement. Now what if we said a bowling ball is not round? This would be a false statement. When you change the truth value of a statement, that's called negating the statement. 3 plus 4 equals 8. That would be false. Now if we wanted the negation of this statement, we could say 3 plus 4 does not equal 8, and that changes the truth value to true. There are many ways to negate a statement. Consider the statement, the porcupine racetrack is one mile long. So we could say the porcupine racetrack is not one mile long. We could say it is not true that the porcupine racetrack is one mile long. We could say it is not the case that the porcupine racetrack is one mile long. Or we could say it is false that the porcupine racetrack is one mile long. So when any of these would lead to a negation, choose your favorite. A poodle is a dog. We could say that that is true. Then if we said a poodle is not a dog, that would switch to false. But then if we wanted to switch it back to true, we could say it is not true that a poodle is not a dog, and then we're back to true. And then we could say it is not the case that it is not true that a poodle is not a dog, and now we're back to false. In practice, it starts to get very wordy as you tack on all these extra words for the negation. If you wanted to negate a poodle is not a dog, you could just switch it back to a poodle is a dog. That's a much cleaner way of doing it. Now I want to look at some notation. So I'm going to look at a symbol, a statement, and a truth value. So oftentimes in logic, when we want to represent a statement concisely, we use a single letter to represent that statement. So for example, the letter P could represent the statement, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. And that would have a truth value of true. The negation of this statement, which I write with a little tilde in front of the P, would be Mercury is not the closest planet to the sun, and that has a truth value of false. If I wanted to negate the negation, then I could write it like this, and that would mean it is not true that Mercury is not the closest planet to the sun, and then we're back to true. You can also negate open sentences. Let Q represent he ate a tuna salad sandwich for lunch. In this case, the variable in this open sentence would be he, and it depends, the truth value depends on who he is, but it doesn't matter, we can still negate it. The negation of Q would be, he did not eat a tuna salad sandwich for lunch. So to summarize, when you negate either a statement or an open sentence, it changes the truth value.